is going on, guys? JD from New York here, back again with more breaking news about the WWE Royal Rumble. This is my effort to get you guys up to date on everything that's going on behind the scenes concerning this Sunday's Royal Rumble 2016 pay-per-view. Now, in an interesting story, and one where collectively, at the end of this video, we can all say that Josh from Tough Enough is a complete fucking idiot. If you guys didn't watch Tough Enough, Josh, he is the 2015 Tough Enough winner. He's the one that they called the Yeti. Josh Breedle, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly, but Josh could debut at the WWE Royal Rumble this Sunday, live on the network from Orlando. F4W Online reports that all NXT talent, all NXT talent will be at the event. So on top of Josh, we could see a Finn Balor. We could see a Sami Zayn. We could see a Baron Corbin. We could see a Samoa Joe. I'll discuss that later on this weekend for Off the Script. But all NXT talent will be there at the event. And people in the company want to see Josh debut in the Royal Rumble match. The reason for that is not because he's coming along at a quickened pace. He's not ready to be in the WWE, let alone on the main roster. But the reason for him wanting, or the WWE wanting him to be in the Royal Rumble, is all the heat he has on him from this past week. All right, reports noted earlier. Josh made a comment about the social outcasts being social jobbers, which caused Stardust and Kevin Owens to hit him back on Twitter. Probably going to be a long day for young Josh, said Brian Alvarez, which he stated in his update about Josh being backstage at the Rumble. The wrestlers will want to see him in the Rumble match so that they can chop the hell out of him. That's what happened to Tough Enough winner Daniel uh, Pewter back in 2005. Remember 2005 Royal Rumble, where Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero, and along with Hardcore Holly, legit beat the shit out of Daniel Pewter. I actually went back and watched that on a whim before this report was even uh, let go to social media. I, I was watching that the other night, laying on my couch, and uh, I forgot that actually happened. Benoit, Guerrero, Hardcore Holly, all in there chopping the fuck out of this guy. I legit fucking felt this guy's pain. It was awful. And if you got, if you got Benoit and Guerrero and Hardcore Holly... Can you ask for any more intimidating fucking tough guys? That was ridiculous. So the same thing ha uh, happened to Daniel Pewter back in 2005 with Chris Benoit and Hardcore Holly legit beating the shit out of the arrogant rookie who won $1 million in that tough enough competition. Josh only won $250,000. As for management, they perhaps want Josh in the Rumble to capitalize on this controversy. The irony is that Stardust and Owens gave, tough enough, gave the Tough Enough star a ton of exposure by lashing out at him. Nobody was talking about him last week, but everyone is now aware of who he is. By ruffling a few feathers, he's actually made himself stand out. Now, he could have did this on purpose. He even said on Twitter that he was trying to develop some kind of social media type storyline with what he said and that he really didn't mean it. But regardless of that, the common sense thing here is, and you had guys like Bo Dallas and Adam Rose and Stardust and Curtis Axel and Kevin Owens come out and, you know, say something about this, let alone, I don't know what Vince or the other bigger guys are, are thinking. You know, this guy is a very, very, very small fish in a large fucking ocean of sharks that will just wait there for the right moment, just to swallow you up. Now, I'm not in the wrestling business, but I am one that you have to work your ass off and pay your dues before you get any type of respect, okay? And I'm, I'm assuming that the WWE locker room works on that and works that way. 
If you're going to make fun of guys who have worked their ass off to even get on the main roster, no matter what their position is in the company, no matter whether they're jobbers, no matter if they're on TV or not, whether they're delegated to superstars and they don't have a prime position on Monday Night Raw or pay-per-views, Josh can't be opening his mouth that way, you know? He probably went into business for himself. I don't know how his training and his development is coming along down at the NXT Performance Center. I don't know. He, he might have went into business for himself here and started a controversy so that he does get known. But now, you know, he may be put through the ringer. He may, be have, he may have a punishment waiting for him that is going to be worse than what happened to Daniel Pewter at the 2005 Royal Rumble. This is going to be something interesting to look out for. If he is in, indeed in the Royal Rumble, he is going to get his fucking ass kicked. When he comes out, who he's going to be in there against, I don't know. Can you imagine a Kevin Owens and, you know, guys like that that are legit fucking always out there on social media and always speaking their mind? Can you imagine what they're going to do to this guy? Can you imagine him walking into a Brock Lesnar, you know, or anybody of that type of caliber? He's going to get fucking demolished. It might be the highlight of the Royal Rumble if you ask me. But look forward to that. It's possible... Uh, according to uh, Brian Alvarez and the Wrestling Observer and F4W Online websites, it's possible that Josh could be in the Royal Rumble similar to Daniel Pewter back in 2005 because of his comments to the social outcasts, calling them the social jobbers. This is going to be interesting to see, so look forward to that possibly happening at the Royal Rumble. Let me know what you guys think about this story, if you heard about it. This is more news coming out of the Royal Rumble, keeping you guys up to date on everything happening for Sunday's pay-per-view, all right? Guys, if you want to catch me all over the place on social media, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, all that shit in the description below, my podcast available on four different platforms, Podbean, Audio Boom, Stitcher, and iTunes. Everything you need linked down below in the description. And I'll be live with Joe Cronin at midnight tonight for Out of Nowhere, episode number 13. I'll see you guys back with more news hopefully later today. Let me know what you think. Hit that thumbs up if you did enjoy the story. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at JD from NY206. And I'll be back with more breaking news regarding this Sunday's Royal Rumble. I'm JD. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.